Hello everyone, good to see you. Welcome back to Eric's Gibberish. In this video, we are going to take a look at the various essentials and accessories that you will require for the designs involving the Raspberry Pi, mainly including devices and cables used to connect it to a computer or to other peripherals like USB devices, HDMI monitors, etc. This video is a part of a series of videos that I call Essential Tools and Instruments for an Electronics Workstation. Make sure to watch all of them. The links to the videos are given in the description section below. And if you've not subscribed the channel already, then do it right now so that you get notified as soon as a new video is uploaded. Now before I go any further, I just want to say that the Raspberry Pi is an awesome, incredible, fantastic device. That's all. So here we have a few of the various models available of the Raspberry Pi, namely the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, the Raspberry Pi 3 Model A+, and the Raspberry Pi 0W. Most of the ports on the Raspberry Pi 3 are the regular sized ones, whereas those on the Raspberry Pi 0 are the miniature variants of the same. So let's begin with the essentials and accessories required for the various models of the Raspberry Pi. Micro SD Card All the models of the Raspberry Pi require a micro SD card to operate mainly to load the operating system on. In case your computer does not have a built-in card reader, then you will need an external card reader and writer similar to this one. And in case this device does not have the slot for a micro SD card but only for a SD card, then you will also need this micro SD to SD card adapter. So here I have a 16 GB class 10 micro SD card. I insert the micro SD card into the SD card adapter, which in turn goes into the external card reader and writer, and finally I plug it into the USB port of the computer. I can now write to or transfer to the micro SD card the image of an operating system like Raspbian or any other as per the requirement. Wireless keyboard and mouse combo. To connect a keyboard and mouse to the Raspberry Pi, you will need to connect them using the Raspberry Pi's USB port. Since the wired solution could be a messy affair, I would recommend you to use a wireless keyboard and mouse combo. It comes with this tiny USB receiver that connects to the Raspberry Pi and then on the battery powered keyboard and mouse both are ready for use. 5 volts 2.5 amps DC power supply All the models of the Raspberry Pi are powered using its micro USB female port marked as PWR in or power in. For the same you will require a 5 volts DC power supply like this one or similar with a micro USB male plug to connect to the Raspberry Pi. But make sure that the current capacity of the power supply is at least 2.5 amperes or more. USB Hub The Raspberry Pi 3 Model B has 4 USB-A female ports. The Raspberry Pi 3 Model A Plus has only a single USB-A female port. Whereas the Raspberry Pi Zero has only a single micro USB female port. More often than not, you will need to expand the number of USB ports on the Raspberry Pi, especially on the Raspberry Pi 3 Model A Plus and on the Raspberry Pi Zero to facilitate the connection of multiple USB devices to them. For the same, you could use a USB hub similar to this one, which has a USB-A male plug for the Raspberry Pi 3, or a micro USB hub similar to this one, which has a micro USB male plug for the Raspberry Pi Zero. USB-A male to USB-A female extender cables. The trouble with the four USB-A female ports on the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B is that they are placed too close to each other, at times making it difficult to connect multiple USB devices to it simultaneously. In such a situation, you could use USB-A male to USB-A female extender cables like these for an ease of connections. Micro USB male to USB-A female cable or adapter. Since the Raspberry Pi Zero has a micro USB female port, USB devices with a USB-A male plug cannot be directly connected to them. In this case, you will require a micro USB male to USB A female cable or adapter like these for the USB port type conversion. These converters are also commonly known as OTG cables or OTG adapters, OTG standing for on the go. HDMI cable To connect the Raspberry Pi to an external HDMI display or monitor, you will need an HDMI cable. Since the Raspberry Pi 3 has on itself a regular sized HDMI port, you will need an HDMI to HDMI cable like this one to make the connection. On the other hand, since the Raspberry Pi Zero has on itself a mini HDMI port, 
you will need a mini HDMI to HDMI cable like this one to make the connection. Jumper wires. And finally, last in the list, we have the jumper wires. These wires are available in three types male to male, female to female, and male to female. They prove very useful for the connection of the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins to external components and devices like LEDs, switches, ICs, modules, etc. I have made this entire list available for download in case you want to add it to your forthcoming purchase checklist. The link to it is given in the description section below. And here's a quick question for you. Which according to you is the best hardware feature of the Raspberry Pi? The multiple USB ports, the HDMI output port or the 40 pin expanded GPIO? Do leave your answers in the comment section below, would be interesting to know. Also let me know if there is any essential or accessory which you feel deserved a place on this list that I may have missed out at mentioning or may have been less privileged to have in my toolkit. Alright that's all there is for this video, hope you found it informative and helpful. If yes then please don't forget to like, share, comment and most importantly subscribe to get the notifications for my newest uploads. And if you have any questions or suggestions over this video then do drop them in the comment section below. And always remember, mistakes occur through haste, never through doing anything leisurely. Thanks for watching, I am Eric, until my next gibberish, take care.